want the short story or the long story? Well, let's start with the short story and I'll probably <laughs> ask some more questions along the way. Um, okay, I'll say my version of it because right. there's different perspectives, I guess. The, the way it started for me was um, I decided to start a band. I've been in music for about six years now. Nice. Right? Longer than that, man. Way hey, longer than hey, that. Hey, hey, stop doing the math. <laughs> Four or five years, something Four like that. So, so yeah, I mean, I basically just said I needed a band. And um, I started looking for me. I didn't know what to expect, what to look for. And I sure didn't know what I was doing. I only had an idea. And I followed people. How did it happen for you? Well, for me, uh, I've known this brother for a while, right? And um, I don't know, I've been a fan of Nashing and I always followed and I was always there. And uh, at some point, I became a part of the band. <laughs> uh, actually playing an instrument in the band. Look, and it was really a blessing, though. It was really a blessing. And um, so I, kind of I've been. You. No, I mean, not really. I just was always there. I was always there around the band, always at the gig. It's like the so furniture it's more like a fusion then. And then uh, a spot was open okay. for me to fill. And, and I stepped into it. All right. and, and it's been a while, man. We've done amazing things since then, too. Cool. So, what are some of these amazing things that you are talking about? We've had some really, really great gigs. Um, really had the opportunity to have a lot of fans out there cheering for us. And that, that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. You know, it, it shows that the hard work that you put in is appreciated. So would you say your time with Nashing has been your most rewarding experience? Very rewarding, yes. <laughs> Very much so. Yes. Alright, awesome, awesome. Sam. Sam, hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? So, um, I know Sam not very well. We just kind of met, like, how long ago? About, uh, two months ago. Yeah, not that long. Pretty chill. So, uh, tell me, why are you part of Nashing? Why am I part of Nashing? Yeah. Uh, an opportunity to play my music uh, in front of people and I really feel the vibes with Nashing. I like that they talk about spirituality, I like that they talk about what is to come, that has been written and uh, I look forward to the future. So do you feel like Nashing brings a deeper connection or spirituality than most other bands? Uh, most definitely, most definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I know you're supposed to be more about, you know, trying to make it, trying to make money and whatnot, and uh, I think that's good. But uh, with Nashing, I think there's just uh, a little bit more, a little bit more, and that's what I really need in life, you know, a little bit more. That's awesome. So I often hear about, like, the Nashing family and how you guys really feel really close to each other, and, you know, I just hear this word family and love going out again, you know, all the time between your members. How do you, you know? How do you feel about that? Give me um, some of your, um, you know. Well, these are my brothers and sisters within faith and spirituality. And, uh, you know, if you if you don't know anything about that, then you won't really know what it means to be a brother or a sister with someone that you didn't grow up with. You know what I mean? So, I just feel very, uh, I feel refreshed every time I speak with them. So, you know, it's why I do it. Alright, well, this sounds like you have some input on this. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think um, Nashing family is spread beyond just the members of the band. You know what I mean? Nashing is a family that is wide. You know, <laughs> hundreds of people, really. And it's because everybody is on the same page. Everybody understands love. You know, and and the power of it. You know, so, the power of love. The power of love. The power yes. of love. Yeah. You know, and that's a, that's what natural family means to me. There's a lot of people that are just on the same vibe. We all believe in the same thing. That's a very very. 
like, that's one of those meanings that you're like, you can't express in words. Right. I feel like you're having trouble trying to express the word. It's bigger than words. No, uh, it's that connection. Or smaller than words. It's both. You know? It's tight. That's all it is. Would you guys say that there is a parental figure within the group? Well, yeah, that's him, obviously. The situation the is parental. <laughs> the parental. The, 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 the situation runs the situation. I mean, there's nothing I can do about what's going on around me. It may seem like someone has control of this thing, but I don't think it's one person having control. I think it's individual participation of wanting to be at the same destination, I guess, yeah. you know? So it's not, I'm not forcing, personally, I'm not forcing anybody to be here. They're just like, I want to be, yes. And I'm like, cool. You know what I mean? That's true. I don't know. That is true. So we have a few more members running around over here. And we may not be able to get them to this evening. I'm going to shout out their names just in case. Queen Esther, everybody. Uh, Tommy Thomas Day. Go check him out in the ring. He bang on drums and he bang in the ring. Red Grooves. Red Grooves. Man, you, Red Grooves, man. He's like on another planet. He comes up with some stuff. Yeah. So, you know... Yeah. Tourette's, Tim, or all that, and then Head back and out of take a look around the bar, man. It's a beautiful bar. This is Rebar.